Hi, Gary Clayton here. Uh, last time we talked about growing your business or fading away. And we looked at this mountain of growth that you're going to get to and had some goals to get there, making that um, very normal and something of the future that you could get your arms around. I want to talk about some practical um, applications of this, some tips, and give you three today on this. So first I want to talk about a mathematician, uh, philosopher, Austrian-American born uh, fellow named Kurt Gödel. Now Kurt Gödel was famous for saying that you can't understand a system until you get outside of it. And with that I want to talk about the first thing which is what I'll say is a canary in the coal mine. And what I mean by that is it's nice to have somebody in your organization or someone who is consulting you from outside your organization that can really take the time to let you know what's going on with you in regards to your business as it relates to your customers. So what do I mean by that? Well, you can get in a state of you know just being so concentrated in your business and ignoring your customer that you get things like curse of knowledge, where you become so knowledgeable about your own business that you're speaking techno speak or industry speak and your, your customers and clients don't understand that. Um, you get into not doing innovation, not growing and developing your firm. You get into protecting your brand. You get into just incremental growth, not very exciting stuff. Uh, you can get, really get way off track unless somebody who, who's outside your system looking in at you can see this, not understanding what you're doing. So it's really important to have somebody out there kind of like a litmus, te litmus test that can do that for you. Uh, number two is lifelong learning. You know, it, it, gone are the days where you get through school, you graduate, and you go out and get a job, and then that's it. Today it's more about on-the-job training in particular. And you do some formal training as well, but things move very quickly. Uh, you can't really be protecting your brand. You need to be really improving that, you know, growing as we've been talking about here. And in the process of doing that, you have to put programs like mentoring in for employees, um, looking at new ways to get them to develop new skills and, and, and strengths from continual education. Could be informal, could be reading, could be all these other different things out there, but there has to be something that's going on where there's just continual lifelong learning. Look at doctors five years out of medical school and 50 percent of what they were taught has changed that's how rapidly that stuff changes and you're in high-tech areas or other areas where it's growing rapidly this changes very quickly third thing is negativity you know it's about 90 percent of the articles and stories we see from the media are negatively based now this kind of makes sense if you think about it from another statistic and that is this that about two-thirds of the words for emotions in the English language are negative emotions. You know, we're just predisposed to be negative. And by that fact, uh, we need something on a daily basis to counteract that negativity. So try this next time. And every meeting you have in your company, start off the meeting by asking everybody what they're excited about right now. And go through the entire meeting. And at the end of the meeting, ask them, what'd you get out of the meeting today? You know, something that's very uh, strong for them. Now I got this technique from a firm called The Strategic Coach and we've been using it for quite a while. It really helps keep people in a positive frame of mind. So think about these three things, add it into your business, try them out, so forth. Uh, if you're gonna continue growing your business, you're not gonna have incremental growth, but really substantial growth over time, so that you don't fade away into the future, uh, try these things out, see if it can help you really get that ball and momentum rolling further and further down the road. So until next time, enjoy.